Uh, we're at the Brazilian Embassy and we're here because uh, there's a huge um, spotted a tower rise in Brazil that's getting evicted. We heard about it like last minute and just want to make a noise about it. Thank you very much, I've got my own rights, thank you. Hello. 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 Who's organising, please? Who's organising? Uh, we're, we're, we're all organised. We want to demonstrate we can, alright? We do it lawfully and peacefully. Portuguese or English? Oh, just English. Yeah, all right. Are you security, sir? No, I'm from the Embassy of Brazil. Right. Oh, well, there you are. If you have a picture. Yeah. Um, um, to talk about Precious Maia, the community in São Paulo, which is under threat of eviction. And we would like to, we'd like two of us would like to come we, in and we talk want to make sure that you know about you that. Come. Personally, I don't know about this subject, okay? Right. But people from the embassy might know, or if they don't know, the person in charge of human rights right. would listen to you, would try to know about it, and then they would do what they should do. There's a nice picture of Lula. But this one was the, I don't know, officer for um, human rights. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. I deal with human rights, social issues and the environment at the embassy. Yeah, we're concerned about uh, the threat of eviction to 468 families in a squatted high-rise in Sao Paulo. Meaning the taxes is all more than what the... Mm. The buildings were. Mm -hmm. um, apparently under Brazilian constitutional law this gives grounds for the authorities to claim to nationalise the building. Instead of doing that, they've uh, arranged to send in the military police to evict the building. Mm. I mean, we're very, very concerned that should an eviction take place, that it will be a violent one. And I think that's what we're... I mean, in your role as a human rights officer, you, you know, this mm. is one of your concerns. And of course, I wouldn't be the person who mm. could solve everything, the mm. case there, mm -hmm. of course. But what we can do is to uh, convey our message to the Special Secretariat for Human Rights in Brazil mm -hmm. and say that there are concerned people here, mm -hmm. that they knew about the situation, that they are following mm -hmm. the news, mm -hmm. that they are aware that these people would be evicted in two months' time. A good solution and stuff, you know, would be, is it either if, like, social housing is provided for people if they, if they do get evicted, or that, you know, this building does come into, you know, into public hands. And, mm -hmm. and housing problems are not only related to these people who are mm -hmm. in this building, but everybody, if you yeah. think about mm -hmm. the favelas, if you think about all the others in the ruthless yeah. movement. So these people have solved their housing problems yeah. and um, mm -hmm. built a community. The, the whole downtown area mm -hmm. of Sao Paulo is really degenerating and this is why yeah. the former mayor, mayor and now this one, they're trying to regenerate. We've seen mm -hmm. the process of so-called regeneration, which means pushing out the low-income families and and, um, and, the, and the people who've been living there in a particular area of London mm. for you know generations, and them getting pushed out, and they end up living in the, in the suburbs. So mm. people who have the high-powered jobs and only want to travel 15 minutes to work and can afford the inflated um, prices of property in the in the regenerated areas are the only ones who live there. And when they're talking about um, regeneration. Uh, gentrification that mm. means exclusion. When it comes to regeneration in Brazil, the government will be involved. And because we have these problems in our in our big cities, people would always think about this. I mean, the, the, the community themselves would go and say, well, you have to take a look at this, because we, when you're in a rich country, things would tend to be like more, how is it, market regulated in these cases? Mm -hmm. But in our case, there would be a very strong role by the government. It would be nice to think that, but the guy that owns this building is a very successful multi-millionaire, despite the fact that he's been evading taxes, or probably because he's been evading taxes. <laughs> so when you're talking about a property that's worth a huge amount in the centre of Sao, pa Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. then it's easy to see that the, the choices might be made on market 
considerations rather than social considerations. Mm -hmm. I am going to send this information. I am going to say that you are here, that you are worried, and all this. Yeah, I'm just reminded now. Does it? Do you know that Has Hasunais, the rap band from Sao Paulo? Mm -hmm. Hasunais MC. Yeah, they've got a great um, track which is called Periferia, Periferia, mm -hmm. Qualquer Lugar. Mm -hmm. I think that's the reason why we're here. Mm -hmm. The periphery is the periphery. Yeah. Anywhere, everywhere, yeah. everywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's the root of our solidarity. Yeah. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. you should know to do it, okay? A visão já não é tão bela. Não existe outro lugar. Periferia, a gente pode. A visão já não é tão bela. Não existe outro lugar. Periferia, é periferia. A visão já não é tão bela. Não existe outro lugar. Periferia. If we're any kind of a network at all, if we're gonna create any kind of a free open space community around the world, we need to show solidarity all around the world and we can share experience, we can share strength. We need to make this movement much, much bigger than what it is just in London or just in any town. It's important to show people here that there are other people that, that care about the people in Brazil and that, and that we agree with them taking on land when they have no land. Getting a stable place to live is for people a chance to have a life and if that's taken away then those people don't have a chance to live and everywhere in the world against gentrification, against eviction. Aquele puto que roubou ele outro dia Amanhã seu cheio de tiro ele pedia Eu estou aqui porque eu realmente amo os brasileiros O Brasil é o meu home por dois e a meses Então eu quero mandar uma sensação de solidariedade de volta E mostrar um pouco dessa generosidade Nossa raça está morrendo Não me diga que está tudo bem Muita pobreza, estoura a violência Nossa raça está morrendo Não me diga que está tudo bem Keep fighting and keep occupying. Keep on being disobedient. Loco na fissura, te estranho na loucura. Pedir dinheiro é mais fácil que roubar, mano. Roubar é mais fácil que trampar, mano. É complicado. O vício tem dois lados. Depende disso ou daquilo. Good luck and keep fighting. Eu não vou ficar do lado de ninguém porque quem vende a droga para quem? Vem para cá de avião ou pelo porto, cai. Não conheço pobre dono de aeroporto e mais. You're gonna stay there. Ele vê que quem morre no dia a dia é igual a eu e a você. Periferia é periferia. Deixa o crack de lado, escute o meu recado.